In this video, let's see how to launch VS Code from the command line. When you install VS Code, it is added to your environment path. As a result, you can open VS Code from the command prompt by just typing code and then pressing enter. What happens when you run the command code is that it opens an instance of VS Code from where you left off in your last session. So I was working on an Angular project and you can see that I have opened the sidebar. The editor has app.module.ts opened and we also have the terminal opened. Also make note of the cursor position because VS Code remembers even that. Let me close this and enter the command code. You can see that we start where we left off. Let me now close the sidebar, hide the terminal as well, close the instance and reopen it. And you can see it still remembers. Sometimes though you want a fresh instance to start a brand new project. In that case, make use of the dash n option. So code dash n. You can see that there is no previous project opened, nor is the instance opened in any particular folder. For the next scenario, you might want to open VS Code in a specific folder. So to open code in the current directory, you run the command code followed by a dot. So you can see that in this command prompt, I am inside the flexbox project folder. When I run the command code followed by a dot, it opens an instance of VS code in the current directory and again right where you left off in the last session. Alright, the next command is very specific. Let's say you know the file you want to open along with the line number and column number. So let me navigate inside the template driven forms folder. And now I can run the command code dash dash go to package dot json colon line number 10 colon column number 5. You can see that VS code is opened. The package.json file is open in the editor. The cursor is placed at line number 10 and column number 5. Like I mentioned, a really specific command. Anyway, these are some of the commands you might regularly use. Apart from these, there are several options that cater to different needs. To take a look at them, let's use the help option. Go back to command prompt and run the command code dash dash help. This gives you the possible options, extension management options and also options for troubleshooting. You can use the dash dash diff option with the two file names to compare two files. You can use dash dash list extensions for example to list the different extensions that are installed and so on. But the bottom line is VS Code has a powerful command line interface or CLI to help you customize how you launch the editor for your specific scenarios.